Mouse Crafting Corner, yeah. Making a Whirly Gig, part two. Water bottle prep. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, who took my recycling? All right, so I got the water bottle and the cap out of my drying rack. They are clean enough right now. There are a few droplets of water on the inside. Don't worry about that. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, so the first step now that the bottle is clean that we're going to do is we're going to make a hole in the center bottom of the bottle. What that will do is when we take our pole, rod, um, knitting needle, stick, anything that we're using for the whirly gig to spin along, okay, it's going to slide through there, okay? It's going to slide through that hole. So make sure the hole is the same size, if not a tiny bit bigger, than the rod or pole of some sort that you are using. Today I am using something called a Tunisian crochet hook. It's just what I could find at the time. It may sound strange, my mom and dad owned a yarn shop when I was younger, so we've got lots of things like this. It's very similar to a knitting needle, but it has two crochet hook ends. That's just what I'm using today, okay? So it's long enough that it can stick in the bottle, but then there's length at the bottom, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to poke the hole in the center bottom of my bottle. How I'm doing that is I have a hammer. All right, so you wanna use your hammer. I have a piece of wood and I have two pieces of small corkboard here. I got it from the dollar store, but you can really use anything that is a bit soft. Um, styrofoam, maybe a few layers of fabric if you want to, and that's just so that when you are hammering, okay, I have a piece down here, I put my wood there so that when I'm hammering it doesn't injure my table, and then I have a piece on top so that when I try to puncture the hole through it, then it doesn't just stop at the piece of wood, it goes through something, okay? So that's what I'm doing. And I'm making sure that this is just right on top of the piece of wood that's underneath. You can kind of feel it there, all right? I have my crochet hook, or my Tunisian crochet hook. I'm just going to sit it right in the center of the bottle there, okay? And then I'm going to take my um, hammer here and just smack it lightly with a bit of pressure. I think it may, it's starting to go through. All right. I'm just going to pull this up there, kind of twist it around. You can see it does spin along there, which is great, okay? All right, so now we have our hole there, okay? You can even do that. All right, there is the hole. That is the first step you want to do. It's really difficult to get the hole in the bottle after you have done all the other steps because at that point the water bottle is quite flimsy and it is hard to do anything to at that point. So now I'm done that step. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff the water bottle with my paper scraps I have here. The reason why I do that, I've tried different things. The reason why I do that though is because when we are tracing from our stencil here that you can grab. I'll provide that for you. Um, when we are tracing it on here and when we are carving out these sections, it tends to collapse. You see that it collapses. We don't want that to happen. It makes it very difficult to work with. So when we stuff the bottle, it becomes um, a lot less flimsy and easier to cut. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, I have filled the water bottle finally. All right, there it is. As you can see, much sturdier. It shouldn't collapse on you when you're carving or tracing on the stencil. Post 
Captain Corner, yeah.